Hi everyone, Daniel Glickman from Wave.Video here. I'm so glad to have you with me on ECAN Live's uh, Leap Into Livestream. This is an amazing opportunity for everybody. and I'm really, really happy to be able to present with you today how to create promo videos to promote your live stream. Uh, this is a very important topic because a lot of us, we create live videos and we don't promote them well. We just kind of assume that if we do the videos, they will, people will show up. Uh, so there's a lot to be gained by actually promoting your live video. It's not how to do. And um, and then we'll also briefly talk about how to repurpose those live videos to promote after they were created and uh, to promote the next live video. So we'll be doing two kinds two kinds of promotions here. Yep, <laughs> right and left going on. Uh, two kinds of promotions. One uh, video promotion using a talking head and one video promotion using a... Uh, stock video when if you don't have time or cannot get on camera. I know for some of us getting on camera is an effort. Uh, it might take time to prepare. We might have to go to a studio to do it, uh, or we might have to spend a lot of time putting makeup, etc. So it might not be something that you can just hop on and do right away. So if for those cases, the second option might be better. Uh, some of you will like the second option just because of the funny uh, the ability to create funny storytelling. Uh, we're in a live, in a studio setting like this. There's a limit to how much of a uh, setup I can create and how much acting I can do. It's still a visual space that is restricted because of the nature of uh, studios, right? Uh, so stock video can do a lot for that. And I'll show you both using Wave the Video, our product. Um, uh, everything I'm going to show you today is available for free. Whatever isn't, I will mention. Uh, that it's not, uh, but you can definitely achieve the goal with of promoting and creating promo videos with our free version. And even if you're not interested in using your product, there's a lot to gain by watching because uh, you can implement this using manual techniques, using your own editing software or what have you. Um, so without further ado, let's get into the presentation. The first thing I want to uh, point out is the strategy behind this. So it's not just about creating lives and creating teaser videos uh, and promo videos. It's about thinking in the strategy of a funnel, right? You're promoting because you're trying to get people through a funnel. You're going to tease people to watch your live. You're going to use the live to bait them into some landing page uh, or to bring them closer to your product and closer to your property and eventually uh, sell them, right? Uh, otherwise, uh, it's not as it's not going to yield direct results for your business. There is still a big value in brand awareness, but we usually try to think in terms of funnel. So how does your life fit in the funnel? And um, if you just look at what companies are doing out there, they're doing videos everywhere in, vid in email, in social media, right? On, on their blog and their website, they're doing these webinars and, and Zoom meetings, sales meetings, video, video, video. Uh, but they're doing it, the good ones are doing it with a strategy. So let's talk a tiny bit about the strategy around live video specifically. We split it into three different uh, stages the before, during, and after, the teasing, uh, the anchor content, or your, your, sort of your, your live, your lead gen, right? And then the repurposing and promoting, which is the biggest and most effective uh, uh, part of your live video uh, funnel, but uh, it takes the least amount of effort, actually. The hardest part, <clears throat> excuse me there, the hardest part is getting your live out there, getting on camera and doing all of that work. So first stage we're going to talk about today, we're going to show you how to create a teaser. Uh, basically saying, hey guys, this is what's coming up. Here's why to join the live and a link to that live video. The second part is the live video itself um, and the repurposing of that live video into some kind of lead gen magnet, in our case, a video landing page. It's a landing page that has simply the video um, call to action, maybe a title and short description, nothing else. You want people to focus on the content itself and take action. Um, and the third is uh, repurposing that video onto blog posts, onto emails, onto ads, social media. So I'm going to show you today how to create a teaser. And then I'm going to show you how to take that teaser, add it to your blog, add it to your email, add it to social media. I'm not going to focus on ads today because that's a whole separate topic. Uh, but the same uh, same techniques of adding your teaser onto these properties you can use for the video itself. So the 
the repurposing of your live video after the fact. So don't forget to do that, please. That is the most valuable uh, part of the whole funnel, the whole process, right? Um, so without further ado, let's get into, first of all, how to create these teasers. Let's uh, make two of them today. So um, this is wave.video. Just go to wave.video. That's it, no.com, wave.video. And, um, and create a free account. In here, you will be able to go directly to templates. I'm just gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a quick tour here of our backend, which is the um, my video page, right? In here, you got all your videos and this is our demo account. We do a lot of different kind of demos and you can see that we have lots of different projects organized in folders. I would recommend creating a folder for each webinar. And in here, you can put your webinar recording you can put your um, teaser videos in there. You can see how they created one here um, and, um, and just basically have everything stored in one place. You will want to repurpose a lot of this content. So for instance, you might want to duplicate, uh, just hit there the duplicate button and create a similar version of this teaser for your intro to the live video. Uh, I do that quite often because the intro and the teaser are very, very similar. There's just a little bit of different in, a difference in text, usually, uh, depending on, on which kind of teaser I create, etc. I will take the webinar recording and repurpose it into pro promo videos for that webinar, and so on and so forth after. So uh, creating a folder really, really makes a lot of sense. It really helps um, create a proper funnel, if you will. Uh, first things first, let's create our teaser. So uh, let's start with a talking head teaser. Uh, I will start it from a template. And in here on a template page, you can find a, a well over a thousand templates. But uh, and let me make this a bigger screen so you can see me properly. Yeah, there you go. You can see the video. You can see our editor properly. In here, um, you can search by use cases. And I'm going to cho uh, choose event promotion because a live video is a kind of an event, right? You're, you're promoting towards an event. You can uh, check out all of these different uh, templates, but you don't have to use a template. A template is just a, uh, an example video to start from. You, it's fully, fully editable. There's no limitations. You're not locked into some text box or anything like that. Um, so go ahead, investigate the templates. If you feel like starting from scratch, do that. I'm just gonna use a template here because it's easier in this case. And the editor opens. In this, this is a full-fledged editor. In our editor, you'll see that uh, on the left, we have a bunch of different actions you can take, everything from resizing your video all the way to publishing. The timeline on the bottom, this shows uh, time in seconds. Um, and uh, it'll it'll show you text boxes inside, the actual video, uh, any kind of stickers, et cetera, and, it, and the music uh, or sound tracks below. Uh, on the right is our inspector. The inspector will change based on what I functionality I click or what uh, different um, object I click on my uh, canvas. So we've got a template here, but obviously this is not me. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace her and there's a replace button right there to replace this uh, lady with myself. So in here, we've got a library of about 300 million stocks, um, uh, videos, images to use. Uh, I'll talk about them again later when we create a um, teaser video from scratch. But in this case, I'm just going to go to uploads. And I just dropped ahead of time a, a little uh, talking head video I took of myself uh, explaining why we should join a webinar that maybe I'll be doing next week. It's just a fictional webinar. I, I recorded it without soundtrack just for the ease of the demo today. So I'm just going to use it. If you don't have a video, you can use your um, headshot. Just grab a headshot that you might have. That'll work as well. Um, so I'm just going to put it in there. And you see it fits right inside this circle, inside this cropped circle. Um, I can change. I can zoom in, zoom out, set it up the way I like. Uh, and um, that'll be me speaking in there the second I hit the play button. Make that right. Okay. Uh, you cannot hear the soundtrack because I wear my headset in order to not create echo and uh, a mess. Uh, but I can hear it. There's music playing in the background. If I think that music is too loud versus my volume, I just click the soundtrack and change the volume right there, which I will do right now. I can also do fade in, fade out, change that music with a replace button, trim it, 
do all those kind of stuff. Um, I might have decided that this teaser video is too long uh, that I recorded and maybe you know, some parts of it no good. So I will trim it and I will just select the section which I think is good. I can change the length and so on. And I will choose just a 15 second length here to go with because 15 seconds is the maximum that Instagram and Facebook stories will allow you. It's also the maximum that our free account will allow you. But as you're gonna see, 15 seconds is plenty to promote a webinar or a live video. So I'm just gonna trim it right there um, and we're ready to go in that sense, in the sense of my talking head video. Um, how to promote your live video will be, video will be our title. And I'm gonna change my name right there. Now, as I mentioned, these are fully editable text box. So what we are going to do now is add a second text box and I will show you how editable it can be. So um, in here, I might want to remove some of these text box and just keep one. I'm just gonna change the size. I could even rotate it if I wanted to change the size of the text perhaps, and just say Tuesday at 6 p.m. Okay, fit it in here. I could do all those kind of stuff. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna say 6 p.m. here and come back later and tell you, oh, I made a mistake because you'll see that actually we can change things after the fact really nicely here with wave.video um, even after we've created the video. So uh, remember that I just made a mistake here on pur uh, in this case on purpose, but I made a mistake and this is a typo. It's, I put the wrong date in or maybe I spelled something wrong. Okay, we'll wanna change that later. Okay, so we've got two text boxes here. Um, in this case, maybe I will change the text effect so we can make something really cute like that. Maybe Swipe by word. Some of these, some of these are not showing up because of the uh, color scheme I chose. Oh, I like this. Okay, there we go. Uh, and I'm just gonna center it nicely right there. Okay, good. Um, the branding doesn't match my brand. So uh, if you in Wave that video, we've got a brand set up. Anybody can create a brand here. Just hit a uh, manage brands, and it will change all the brand colors for you. So I'm just gonna hit Wave that video here and select my brand color. You can also choose, uh, I see solid colors. So you get all of your brand right there set up. Um, you know, let's go with a solid color. How about that? Yeah, uh, just for the sake of the demonstration. And let's close this with a call to action. So uh, I'm gonna choose my logo. Mm, how about a white text right there and uh, say something like C link in text. Now, this is important because uh, the so on social media, we cannot make the video clickable. They don't support it, but we can add the link to our webinar in the text above or below the video in our post. So I'm just gonna write C link in text above, in this case, if it's going to be in Facebook, for example. Um, okay, I've got 15 seconds here. I've got a video, let's make this a bit longer. I will figure out, after I take one peek, I'll figure out the actual spacing and direction, the, the um, duration of each text box. And here we go. That's me speaking, which you can't hear right now. And I'm saying, click below, click below. Yeah, thank you, okay. Good. Um, I obviously recorded it with the intention of using it for click below. Now, um, one thing I just realized that we actually want to also promote this on stories, not just in, uh, in the feed. So I would wanna resize my video right there. Uh, 15 seconds is great for stories, let's pick any size we want here, but I'm just gonna choose right now full portrait. How about that one? Now I can re, I can move that. 
makes that frightened there. And look, it just set me up now beautifully for portrait mode. Everything works beautifully. Um, the one thing I'm going to want to maybe change is the layout of this video. So uh, right now I'm in uh, this particular layout where I'm kind of cropped in a circle. So what I'm going to want to do is uh, maybe do something a little bit differently. I could do no layout at all. Do th I can, then I can move things around, crop it, complete freedom, or choose a different layout like maybe this one here where I kind of have this grading below. Um, and I kind of like this one because it, it really brings the text out nicely. I could that really, really nice. Right. So we can, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, there's also the option to do intro animations for these. So different layouts will have a little animation coming in. Uh, I like that. See, it just added a very subtle animation. Okay, a couple of other things we might want to do, add a graphic or stickers. We have a collection of stickers here that are all animated. Uh, things like maybe sound on to tell people to turn on the sound. If it's off, a lot of people have sound off. So this will play, uh, see, it'll just kind of uh, give you a quick animation there. And the animation shows up here on the timeline. So I can set it up any place in the timeline I want and change the duration as well. Uh, so it's an independent object on the timeline. And I can add as many of those as I want. I can upload my own. Uh, I can um, I can add Giphy stickers. So I can add objects on top of the video, which is really, really cool and um, unique to us, I believe. Watermarks uh, will show up throughout. So those are great if I want to just add our logo to be there subtly throughout the video. I can change the size. I can do all kinds of stuff to it. I'll just leave it right there in the corner. So uh, it just sits there quietly. Uh, music, again, I can just change the track and so on. Um, add music. There's a library of free music here, about 300,000 clips for um, for your free use, all royalty-free. Uh, again, everything is available in the free account as well. So you're good to go there. And once we're ready, we just hit Publish, and I'm going to hit Render there. Uh, while it renders, I'm going to create a different type of video. This will only take about a minute, but let's click here to go and create a, a video, which is, let's go back into our folder and create it here, a video which which is based off of stocks rather than my talking head. And I'm going to start it from scratch in this case. So no template. I could have used a template, but I'd rather just use stocks. So I'm going to resize this to maybe a... Uh, square, so I have a, a variety of formats. Different formats will perform better on social media, um, and they might be more appropriate in email or blog posts. So uh, blog post uh, horizontal usually looks good, or we're used to it, but square actually kind of stands out. Vertical is really neat if they're, uh, if a lot of your readers are on mobile. So you can uh, try out different formats and see how that works for you. Um, and I'm just going to choose here from library and do live video and see what I come up with. Um, oh, this one is kind of uh, kooky. Look at that one. <laughs> that's great. Okay. There's like really some really weird ones here. So that's good. I want something a bit weird and a bit odd. Um, and immediately I can come up with a good story around this one. Now, in our library, let me just go back to the library for a second here. I'm just going to hit replace and go back to the library. In our library, we have about uh, 400, uh, 300 million, excuse me, video clips and images, which uh, a lot of them are free to paying customers. We have about 2 million clips and images free to paying customers. You can upload your own. Uh, you can bring them in from any source you have. Uh, but um, if you upgrade, you'll get a lot, lot more of them for free. OK. Um, but even the free account has some good ones there. So you're available. Uh, and you can they're all for you. And you can uh, purchase any of them in our marketplace. They range from a dollar to, I believe, 45 are the most expensive ones. Um, um, again, if you upgrade, you'll just be able to access all of them, uh, or most of them for free. Uh, so let's uh, see what this clip looks like. Yeah, that is kooky. That's perfect. Okay, so we can say something like, to your web mouse. Like this. And 
maybe we throw in a um, effect here. How yeah, about we go with this one? Okay, kind of looks nice in here. Looks different. Um, let's duplicate this little text box here and say we you can we can help you teach you. Oh, to do better. Free webinar. This Thursday. Something like that. And of course, call to action at the end. Um, or let's just keep it simple because I think we've already made the point. So uh, here we got a different kind of teaser, a different kind of promo for our webinar. And then you do the same thing. You take the link to your webinar, to your scheduled webinar, and post it above or below this text on social media or in your email, on your blog, or what have you. Uh, so uh, notice that this, this video is about 15 seconds long. If I wanted to, you might think to yourself, this could be cool as an animated GIF. But an animated GIF would be too heavy to load at this length. So you'd want it as a video, actually. And that's great, because I hit Publish, and then I render it. Let's go back to our video that was rendering. It's ready. OK. So uh, to promote it, uh, to just use it, we can use it on, uh, we can just uh, download it if we have a premium account or post it directly to social media from here, uh, any of these channels, and uh, link to your recorded, to your recording, to your pre-scheduled webinar. So you're good to go there. But there are a few more things you can do. Um, so you automatically get a video landing page right there. What I'm going to do is click on Embed Video and show you how you can actually take that and leverage it to a, a, a much higher promotional standard. Uh, so again, social media, very obvious step, uh, but let's also add it to email and blog posts. So maybe first things first, let's click the embed video, which takes us really to a whole video uh, dashboard, many, many options here, and show you how to add this to WordPress so you can add it to your blog post, another way of promoting. Uh, so what I need to do is turn on the embed button. Uh, you can, uh, free users get about five embeds for free, uh, no, um, uh, there's a small watermark on the embed for free users. The video itself, by the way, is not watermarked. So if you use it in social media, there's no watermark at all in any way. Uh, anyways, um, I'm usually going to choose fixed size, but depending on your WordPress theme, you might want to test out responsive and see if that works better on just copy the code. Uh, I go to WordPress. And I check out my, and I decide where I want to add it to WordPress. So I've got my mock uh, page right here set up. And I would just want to add it maybe right in there. So I just click on uh, Insert, Media, Embed, and type post the code right there. And there we go. In this case, I chose vertical. So it's going to be the vertical format, right? Let's see what that looks like. Just refresh this right here, and there we go. It's right there inside, and it plays. Now, there is um, a, be a few beauties about this, because uh, first things first, if I used an animated GIF, it would be way too heavy. It would, the page would load very, very slowly. It would really hurt my SEO and the viewing experience. A video would load instantaneously. So um, much, much better to add a video in here. The other thing, look at this, it's vertical, it's really cool. So it really changes, it kind of stands out. It makes me want to watch it as a, as a viewer. Um, there's some other benefits to using video in the blog. Yeah, where is my presentation here? Yeah, here we go. Uh, which is, um, it really, it, it decreases time on the page and reduces the boundary. It, it, it's great, uh, the, the video you just made is great uh, material for the blog post promotion itself. So you can use the same video also to link to the blog post in some cases, etc. And it improves the uh, time and overall experience. So again, really, really easy to do. 
and um, and there's some and there's a real beauty about our embed code. So if I go back to my embed code here, any change I make in wave that video to my video itself or to the settings of what the video looks like will reflect automatically wherever the video is embedded. This is something that's unique to us. So obviously I can change the appearance, the player right here. I can brand it. It just changes it like that. So if I wanted it to match my brand, great. Make it green, whatever, right? Um, I can decide what to do. You know, the, at the end, do I want it to loop or do I want it to just uh, stay at the last frame or go back to the thumbnail. And I can also decide if I want the play button, autoplay, all of these kind of stuff in here. Uh, right, so these, uh, these are pretty advanced controls and pretty neat. But I can also, remember I told you that um, I put a wrong date in there or the wrong time. If I wanted to fix that, I can click edit video and it takes me right back to the editor. It edits the video and I don't have to do anything to the embed code the video on my blog will automatically be updated. So any edits I make to this video, uh, as this, the second I render it, it's automatically it automatically propagates. This is completely unique to Web the video, and it's awesome. So if somebody tells you, "Hey, we have to postpone the webinar," and you're like, "Well, but I already have all these videos out there." Nope, easy enough to do. Change the date. Okay, let's talk about email promotion. Email promotion is super super good. So um, how to add the video to email? Now, as you know, the video cannot be physically put inside the email itself, but as far as the user is concerned, we can give them that experience. So we'll need a few things in order to add this to email, and all of them come very easily here with wave.video. Um, you get, you need a thumbnail, a play button uh, in the thumbnail, and a video landing page link. Because the again, the video can't play inside the email uh, client, it'll have to play uh, on the web, and for that, you'll need a link to the video. Well, you already got one. Let me show you where it is. Um, you got the link right there, video landing page. And as it stands, the video landing page is just a, uh, the standard is just the video playing in the web browser, just like that, right? Here's the link. But I can also customize this video landing page and add a title, for instance, um, how to promote. Videos, and you'll have your right. So you see, I got my title, my text, and then I add a call to action, which might be uh, register or RSVP. Now, and I'll add a link right in there. I can add my Google tracking code. So now, uh, my video landing page has a title, uh, subtitle, um, subtitle, the video itself and a button to take action. Okay, I will take, I'll remember this uh, this, um, this link, I, I'll copy it, right? And I'm gonna take it in a minute and add it to my email. Now, one more thing I wanna do is I'm gonna need the thumbnail and the, and the play button. Well, play button we've already got here, and this is my thumbnail. So all you have to do, right, is copy this image. This image right now is, we don't have a button to download it, so what you do is you just use a um, screen capture tool. I use Snagit, there are plenty of others out there. I think Cloud App, uh, some other tools as well. Some of them free, some of them not, uh, but they're very easy to do. I think there's the, even in the Mac, there's built-in functionality for it. If I wanted to change the look of that, I just go back to appearance and I can add buttons, remove them, you know, play around with it as I wish. I recommend leaving a bunch of controls in there to make it look and feel um, as a recognizable player so people will want to click it. Okay, let's go to MailChimp and see how this works. So in MailChimp, I've got my little demo newsletter here. Uh, it'll work the same way in, in, any other, um, in any other email client. And what I want to do is add a block in here. So I'm going to add an image block and upload my uh, what I, the scre screenshot I just took. So I'll just find it here and give me two seconds to find it and upload it for you. And while it uploads, OK. 
Okay. Uploading. Good. There we go. That was quick. And insert right there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ah, wait a second. I didn't want it right there. That was kind of an annoying spot. Let's add a block right there. Uh, nope. Image. Okay, that one. Okay, doke. It's <laughs> it added in the background. Okay, clear. Um, oh, that's how you do it. You add it right there. Okay. Nope. This is content. Okay. So image. Okay, so here now here for the image, I'm just gonna hit the link button and paste that link. Where did the link go? Right there. Copy, go back and paste it. So that's what it was. You just and now we're good. So if anybody hits that play button, it's hidden behind my stuff. There we go. If anybody hits that play button, uh, you will see uh, here. That's how you do it, right there. Let's do this again. Drop the image. Um, here we go, insert, there we go, the image is in line with the text, now I'm just going to hit link right there on the right, paste the link, and that's all I need, okay, users will see this image, they will see a thumbnail with the play button, they will click it, and in fact, they click it, they, the click-through rate on these is so much better. So this is our, this is a copy of our newsletter that we send out, recent one. And you see it has some text. And then we actually put this thumbnail down below. So this video is added right here with the play button. Um, this, even though this thumbnail is down below the fold and there are many other clicks, this thumbnail alone brought in more than 50% of the clicks on this email. So they're highly clickable. People like them. They just, it makes sense. I've seen emails out there that have nothing but uh, a, a title and a thumbnail with a play button. Um, and, you know, people are, people are into it. They want to see it. They want to see what, they want to play the video. So that's how to add it into email. Uh, everything I showed you today, you could do, and free with the exceptions, with a couple of few ex uh, exceptions I mentioned, uh, but you can definitely achieve all these goals you had of promoting your live videos and repurposing them as well uh, with Wave.video, Video, even the free account. Uh, so I'm really glad you joined me today. If you have any questions or feedback about the session or would like to know more, uh, or just talk to me, talk shop with me, I'm, I would love to hear from you. Here's my contact info. Um, Daniel at wave.video. Uh, I'm, I'll, I'm, I'll pick up your email. If it's not in my spam folder, I will respond. Uh, you can also find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and my website, cmoconfessions.com. Um, I will. I hope to hear from you, and I would love to know what videos you made and to see the live posts, the live videos you promoted. Uh, thank you very much for joining me, and see you out there on the web.